Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm excited to share that I passed the CCMP Enterprise Core exam on my first attempt. In this video, I'll walk you through what I used to study, how I studied, how long it took me, and some tips for effective studying and preparing. First of all, what does the CCMP Enterprise Core exam cover? This exam covers the topics needed to configure, troubleshoot, and manage wired and wireless enterprise networks. You'll need to understand the concepts and demonstrate hands-on skills in the core topics of this exam. There are six topics, architecture, virtualization, infrastructure, network assurance, security, and automation. And it is the core exam required in addition to another concentration exam to achieve CCMP enterprise certification. Achieving the certification could mean a raise, a promotion, a recognition, but most importantly, it is the commitment to level up your skills and achieve the professional level certification. The study resources that I used are many, and it is crucial to use many resources. Consider this as tip number one. You need multiple resources for this exam. The first one is the official cert guide uh, book, the Cisco CCMP Enterprise Core uh, 350-401, the book, this is actually the second book um, I'm going to read, let me, this is the first resource I used. The second resource was a video course from Kevin Wallace's uh, CCMP Enterprise Core Master Class, and this was a great resource. I also used CBT Nuggets video training and virtual labs. I used also Boson, NetSim, and exam sim for network simulations and exam simulations for practice exams. I use the Pearson test prep for practice exams and if you purchase the book from Cisco Press you will get a code inside the book that you can use to activate those practice exams. I also use the practice exams from CBT Nuggets and I used my own notes. How I studied and the strategies that helped me with my studies you have to have daily study blocks. Consistency is very important. You need to take a lot of notes, whether you're taking um, notes from a video course or you're reading the book and taking notes. Labbing as much as possible, even if you're comfortable at the command line, you need to practice as much as you can. And reviewing the notes, just for a quick refresher on any topic and how long it took me to study and prepare for the exam and take the exam. The timing will depend on everyone's situation, how much you study, your job, your family, etc. Mine took three years. And at the beginning, I was reading from the book. It, I wasn't working in a Cisco environment, so that didn't help me to stay consistent. I paused many times. And then I moved to the video course and that helped me to be more consistent and be able to finish the courses and then move to the book again and start reading the book. I also didn't set a deadline for myself. My only goal was to understand the material, learn and take the exam and pass. But don't be discouraged if you think three years is too long. That was my situation. You might be able to do it much faster. And finally, some tips to help you study and prepare for the exam. Print the exam blueprint. On this page, when you're looking at the exam description and the topics, you can download a list of the exam topics as a PDF. I always refer to it to make sure I didn't miss any topics. And in the exam topics, make sure for every topic, what it says here, if it says describe, you need to be able to describe the technology. If it says compare, you need to be able to compare between uh, two versions, for example, or two types of hypervisor, for example. If it says troubleshoot and configure, you need to be able to troubleshoot and configure that technology on the exam. And that's why doing labs is very important. This is tip number two. You have to do as many labs as you can. You have lab questions on the exam there they'll give you tasks and you have to complete those tasks to troubleshoot or configure a technology you have to be ready to start typing quickly to manage and finish those lab questions on time tip number three you have to do practice exams whether from cbt nuggets or if you buy the boson exam simulations 
or the Pearson view exams or the Pearson test prep. You have to do te practice tests to know which topic you still need more uh, work on. And the final tip, be consistent. Don't just memorize, understand the topics, understand the concepts. Don't underestimate the automation section. Actually, don't underestimate any of the exam topics. So if you're planning on taking this exam or if you're studying for this exam, always stay focused, stay positive and lab consistently. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.